All right, YouTube, thank you so much for coming by. Uh, today, we're gonna have a little bit of a tutorial on uh, how to, if you are like me and you're really focused on the game and people message you or talk to you and you don't notice and 30 minutes go by, even 10 minutes goes by, five minutes goes by. Some people seem to leave, leave pretty quick after they chat to you and you see it and you're like, oh, hey, and they're gone and you missed them and you feel terrible. Uh, that's how I feel. Anyways, this is how you can set up notifications for somebody talking to you or chatting to you. Um, the program we want to use is called Chatty. Um, that's C-H-A-T-T-Y. I will get it pulled up here. One moment. Chatty. Uh, it's a Twitch client, and you will go to it. I will put a link in the description. And you will download either the zip or the installer. Go ahead and get it downloaded and open it up. Uh, that's not it. Once you have it open, let me actually close it so that we can start from scratch here. Now you can do this with your chat. You can even actually do this with, um, with anybody's chat. Um, so, so like if you have a chat, maybe you want notifications if somebody's talking in, I don't know, ninjas chat and you want to, I don't know, but you can do it with anybody's chat, but go ahead and put your channel name in there. They'll have you, uh, someone's calling me. They will have you uh, put your information, just connect. Okay, and my window's down here. Okay, and once you get connected, you need to go to settings. And under notifications, uh, you will go, I think you have to create a new one. So you hit plus and go to chat message and uh, create, save, and once you do that, let's see, sound, you can change the sound that you want to hear. Now this one is a ding. This is what I use. It's kind of subtle. It's not too disruptive. Um, you can even be a little more uh, hiding with it. You can make it typing so that, you know, you can make your own sound, import your own sound, use whatever sound you want. Um, but in this case I use the ding um, and you can set a cooldown. So obviously you don't want to hear a ding every few seconds. So I did it for 30 seconds. I'm only going to hear a ding 30 seconds of somebody every 30 seconds of somebody's typing, if that makes sense. Um, and that way, if I'm not paying attention, I know somebody's trying to talk to me and I'll probably be more engaged now that I know somebody's typing to me. I, I probably won't need to hear another ding for a little while. Uh, so 30 seconds is what I use. Uh, you save it. I don't want to screw any of my stuff up, so I'm just canceling everything. You save it. Uh, you do have to keep it running during your stream in order for these sounds to go through. So every time you stream, you got to turn it on, let it run in the background. Uh, but other than that, that's a tutorial, plain and simple, easy peasy. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. And everybody have a good rest of your day. Peace, peace.